G'day tonight we're going to have a quick little unbox of the Hollyland Mars 4K and see what you get in the box when you open it up. Little card, ginormous manual, very well presented units. So blue is the receiver, so you can call that your RX, there you go. You've got your HDMI out, SDI out power source and the battery. You've got your mounting point as well. Now you have your TX unit. Battery, HDMI in, SDI in, power source if you uh, use that connector. And your mounting point as well. All right, let's see what bits are in the boxes. Well, there you go, you get a power, one power supply uh, with your regional plug. You might run the DC if the receiver is sitting next to a console or going in an event desk or something like that, rather than using the battery if you wanted to ensure that they last all night long. There's only one, so pick and choose what you gotta do. And these little bits here, you get one spare aerial antenna. And you get one alternate mounting point so that's like your hot shoe cold shoe adapter and that goes on either one of these two so what i like to do with these is the one that's on the camera so you, you're transmitting one i'll actually pop that on and that way it can be flat on the side of my camera rather than it sticking upright from the bottom but all just depends on what you've got set up on your camera and uh, where you want it facing obviously Ideally you have the, both of these upright so that the signal is transmitting but unless you're really giving it something complicated I find I can do that way on camera flat and wherever this is on the, the other monitor can be fine. Take that off, pop that on there. It's quite a good little design having that second option up there so that way slide that into your cold shoe or drop that down into your cold shoe. On the actual units themselves, you get your power on, your menu button. You can supply power by the USB-C, so that's good if you're on camera and you're going into a V-Lock, you can definitely run power to them if you don't want a battery hanging off them. They're quite efficient battery-wise, so even some of those smaller Sony MPF batteries can actually last quite a while with these, so you definitely don't have to have giant ones. I try where possible to use it with the USB-C out through to my V-Lock battery. I just find that that way you don't have to worry, it just goes and goes and goes. So there you have it, that's opening the box on the Hollyland Mars 4K. I hope this helps someone out there and uh, please enjoy. Cheers.